Skywatch Media News for May the 3rd, 2021. A large asteroid named 2021 AF8 is headed towards Earth at an incomprehensible velocity of 16 kilometers per second, traveling at a much faster pace than previous near-Earth objects. At this speed, it could complete an orbit of Earth in less than an hour. The asteroid is identified as belonging to the Apollo class, which means that it is an asteroid that crosses Earth's orbit. It is expected to pass close to Earth on May the 4th as a potentially hazardous space rock, which has scientists worried because its diameter is as big as 328 meters. This may seem small in terms of a much larger asteroid that passed Earth on March 21st, but the asteroid AF-8 is still something of great concern, since it will cross the orbit of Earth as a dangerous object. The orbit of 2021 AF-8 is determined by observations dating back to Christmas of 2020. It was last observed by the Minor Planet Center on March the 4th of this year. Because the asteroid is expected to pass within 3.4 million kilometers of Earth, scientists are keeping a close eye on this one. Although there are no known asteroids that are on a direct collision course with our planet at this time, an impact by a fast-moving asteroid is considered inevitable in our planet's future, and therein lies the dangers for planet Earth. An asteroid would be hitting the Earth at somewhere between 15 and 20 kilometers per second. When a 10 kilometer sized rock hits the ground, the rock itself simply vaporizes. So what you get is a nice big explosion under the ground. That blows a crater, and if your rock was about 10 kilometers across, you'd expect a crater about 200 kilometers wide. The heat and the blast from the explosion itself is gonna take out well, certainly the area of a large country. The material blown out in that explosion is what really does the damage. You set the sky on fire, which means on the ground underneath, of course, you're under the grill. And it'll also set fire to forests and brushland globally. The smoke and the soot from those brush fires then combine with the dust that was blown out in the atmosphere to simply blanket the planet. Add all of that together, and we have a really bad day. On April the 26th, the U.S. Space Agency, along with other international space organizations, began a week-long exercise in a pursuit to keep the Earth safe from a potential asteroid Armageddon. So in essence, they are preparing for the inevitable. The Planetary Defense Office is conducting a tabletop exercise to determine how a large asteroid event would play out here on Earth. The exercise foreshadows a potentially hazardous asteroid that poses a threat to our planet this year. The asteroid has a 1 in 100 chance of striking Earth in the mock exercise. According to the Center for Near-Earth Object Studies, the simulated impact exercise provides a real opportunity for NEO observers, space agency experts, emergency managers, government leaders, and ordinary citizens to think about how they would respond if an asteroid actually had a significant chance of impacting our planet. As the details of a potential impact become more evident, the scenario plays out by simulating how a real situation might evolve, describing the probability of an impact as well as where and when the impact might occur. The seven-day asteroid impact emergency exercise is a precursor to NASA's DART planetary defense mission, which I described in an earlier video. DART, which was scheduled to launch in July, has now been rescheduled for November the 24th. The spacecraft will attempt to reach a non-threatening asteroid named Didymus and move it slightly off course in order to further understand how redirect would work if a major asteroid were to head directly towards Earth. 
DART is expected to be the first test for planetary defense, and the data returned from its impact with Didymus will help scientists better understand the way in which we would mitigate a hazardous NEO in our future. So here's how this year's simulated drill went down. NASA identified an asteroid named 2021 PDC, which has a 1 in 20 chance of impacting Central Europe on or about October 20th. Based on two days of observations, the asteroid is said to be between 35 and 701 meters in diameter. The asteroid was discovered on April 19th by Panstar Survey Telescopes in Hawaii. The space rock is 35 million miles from Earth and will make its closest approach on October 20th. What this means is that Earth has just six months to respond to the threat from space. The first task is to search the historical records to see whether 2021 PDC has been previously spotted. If there are any prior measurements, then astronomers will have a better chance of determining whether there exists the danger of an impact. Detailed maps of the Earth showing numerous potential impact areas are then presented to the team of scientists who are monitoring the asteroid. With each passing day, estimates of the object's size and probable strike zone become more precise. In mid-June, about two months after the object was first spotted, its size is determined to be 460 feet in diameter. Therefore, the area under threat is roughly 155 miles across. So now the impact zone is narrowed down to an area near the border of three countries, Germany, Czech Republic, and Austria. However, because the exact composition of this celestial body is unknown, the scale of damage upon impact uh, cannot be determined. According to data from the Center for Near-Earth Object Studies, there is a 74% chance that over 100,000 people will be affected. In a worst-case scenario, that number could well be over 6.5 million. There would also be a 21% chance of over 1 million casualties or injuries. The damage to the environment and the world economy will be substantial. Tons of dust will be hurled into the atmosphere, possibly blocking the sun for several years. Over time, the area described as unsurvivable becomes more certain. The exercise, as presented here, is purely theoretical, and it is not based on any current data. But in the real world, a global response would be initiated if an asteroid was detected that had a 1 and 100 chance of striking the Earth. The Center for Near-Earth Object Studies has a detailed list that includes dozens of potential asteroid impactors, as well as the simulated data on the 2021 exercise, all of which can be found on their website. We were told that the large asteroid 2021 AF8, although considered as hazardous, will be passing us on this date at a fairly safe distance. But there is another newly discovered asteroid that is flying by us on this date, May 4th, at a distance of just 87,400 miles. The asteroid was discovered at the Atlas HKO in Hawaii, just one day before its close approach. It belongs to the Apollo group of asteroids, and it has a diameter of between 29 and 55 feet. This asteroid is now the 53rd to fly past Earth within one lunar distance since the beginning of the year. The great sculptor and architect Leonardo da Vinci was always inspired by the heavens and its infinite beauty. One of his many quotes explains it all in the simplest of terms. Once you have tasted flight, you will forever walk the earth with your eyes turned skyward. For there you have been, and there you will always long to return. Stay safe, everyone. Thanks for watching, and always 
keep looking to the sky.